you know, with 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 David, it's not it's not just the audience that's getting that's getting schooled. We're getting schooled as the actors, as those people telling that story, and in, it's it's just a blessing to have this cat's words on your paper. You know, it's sometimes I'm, I'm, you're looking at something and you you have to you have to go research it. <laughs> Yeah. You know, uh, whether whether it's a, a, a person in the neighborhood, as it is now in in uh, in Treme, or whether it's like going back to the archives to find out what happened legally in, in some in some particular case, you know, or or whatever. But you know, if, as far as that man's intellect goes, it's a ble I I really don't want to go anywhere else. Yeah. There really, there's yeah. enough here to keep us all stimulated. You know, just being in that man's mind. Isn't the danger to it being on a show that's like kind of iconic? It, it, the danger is that you're going to get typecast, and people will all like you said with Gilligan. I yeah. mean, not. But I don't think he was a good enough actor for real to kind oh, of separate now. himself. No, no in disrespect to Bob Denver. I mean, his Shakespearean work he's was lucky. never really talked about. <laughs> he, he's lucky he was Gilligan. His Hamlet yeah. was fucking real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was, was very lucky he was Gilligan. But his Othello. Uh, right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, where Othello came and got off the island before he did with the Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking horrible show. What a horrible fucking show that was. It's not a laugh to be had. To be honest. Oh, man. We all hate Alan but, Hale. <laughs> sometimes, you know, it, 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 listen, I, I, I've been... It's been called, you know, bunk with a trombone, you know. So, oh, shit. so it's already happening, you know. People are like, yeah, 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 you know, it's the same thing. He's doing the same thing. But uh, well, we got a, a lot of fans checking in uh, with uh, this show. Let's go to Greg in New Hampshire. Greg, oh damn, it's calling too. The hell, oh, hey, gentlemen. What's Hi, up? Greg. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Hey, gentlemen. Unbelievable show, Treme. The music's insanely good, and uh, the whole storyline so far is it's just really engaging. The only problem they have right now is John Goodman. Did he kill himself? Is he coming back? Oh, I'm, I wish I could tell you, man. You're going to have to look at the whole second season to find out. He might he might show up somewhere in that oil slick. Who knows? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna, we're not going to tell you. Shit, we want you to watch. But, man, thank you very much. There's so much good music on this show, mm, man, yeah. because mm. it's just all the music is recorded live. You know, and uh, actually the album, the soundtrack from the first year was uh, nominated for a Grammy. Damn. And um, I'm actually taking out uh, a group of musicians on tour. Uh, we're starting at the, the, the Playboy Jazz Festival in uh, Hollywood. When y'all going there, man? Uh, like, you know, <laughs> you didn't tell me that shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. We're in L.A., uh, San Francisco, what? Chicago. I guess you guys are like, friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do I turn this mic off? I'm just like, yeah. 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 Uh, we got another... Uh, uh, another guy, Gak. It looks like Gak. What's up? Gak, Y A K. How you doing? Over? All right, Y. Yeah, what's up, man? Great show, man. Hey. You got to watch this show in surround sound. The audio, not just the music, but the way it's mixed is phenomenal. The last episode takes you to right before the hurricane. Right. Phenomenal, riveting, riveting television. And I got to say, kudos to HBO for bringing people back that were successful in other shows, putting them on other shows. <laughs> And just kind of creating a family. You're waiting for somebody's Soprano guys to show up in somebody's other HBO <laughs> show. And, and, and now. actually, you know, that's the thing. You re thank you so much, Yak. Hi, man. Soprano's was a very good show and very enjoyable. That's his name. But I always thought yeah. that the... Uh, <laughs> he rules, man. He, thought, he, thought he fucking making, rules. He thought I was making fun of him. Insulting him or something. No, I wasn't. Yes. I wasn't yeah. going there. That. That's oh. an insult in the French <laughs> Quarter. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes, that means jizz bag in the French Quarter. <laughs> <laughs> he, he don't fuck around, this guy. No. <laughs> He's all right. Oh, man. <laughs> I always thought that Soprano is an amazing show, but the, the amount of accolades and awards it got... Uh, I always thought was uh, ir irritating when compared with The oh, Wire. It, it drove me again. Deserved so to be fun. nominated. It was slow, man. The it was Wire a soap blew opera. It out of the water. It was wow, a soap opera, man. and and this was not a soap opera. Every character in The Wire, they sure they didn't do the typical Hollywood thing where you know every cop was bad and every you know like Ooh, they yeah. always threw like great scene is when uh, fucking Bird is chained up and uh, he just won't stop calling. Came out dyke and fucking all the cops <laughs> oh, walk in yeah. and they and he tears up right. the fucking uh, the Polaroid. You realize that yeah, they're yeah. all about to give this guy a savage beating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, big Hollywood, he brought Hollywood in there and fucking beat Bubs one time. You know? <laughs> That's right, yeah, definitely. That was so great. That it's about moral ambiguity, you know. Yeah, it's about moral. You know, Omar is you know this killer, this crazed pathological killer. Yeah. But you realize one thing: Omar never cursed. <laughs> He never cursed, because that was something he found so offensive. I actually really? didn't realize that. I never yeah. realized that. Omar never cursed and never killed on Sunday. 
And so when they, <laughs> that's right. That's so right. when they went after his grandmother on a Sunday, he Ooh, said it's all yeah. hell, bro. Right. Yeah, they shot her hat off. That was really a mistake. Oh, that's not a hat. That's a crown. A crown. That's a crown. right. That was a crown. And by the way, I thought one of the most hateable characters in The Wire was uh, was I think her name was Delanda in season four, the mother who was encouraging oh, yeah, yeah. the kid to. Uh, mm. oh, go with mm -hmm. Boy, Jimmy really Fucking. watched this show, man. I, I did. I love oh, the yeah. show. You know, I, I just you know I travel a lot, so I was I was fucking got the box sets. Oh, and that's the best way to watch it, man. It's yeah, HBO one after shows. another, one after another, one after another. So, but four yeah. and five I watched live, so like I, I I had to wait. I was like, this fucking stinks. Waiting, <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. We had Snoop on too. Oh, I wasn't yeah. here for that. I, I was on the was out. She was and walking we, by. We realized she wasn't acting at all. That's oh, you got uh, the real person. Yeah, she wasn't. There was no acting her. going on. We met her in a club. When she got out of uh, prison, yeah, you know, uh, and, is she Michael Michael K. Williams? She yes. might be. I don't know what's yeah, happening. She had a little they, something they, happen. She had an incident oh, yeah. recently. She a was arrested. Incident. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's yeah. the real deal, though. Holy fuck! And she has a, a, a book, uh, Grace After Midnight, that yeah. uh, is just her story. You know, uh, that they're thinking about doing into a f turning into a film. Hmm. Her oh. death scene was great too. Just oh. asking about her hair. How my Wouldn't hair that love? Yeah. Holy uh, shit! Uh, uh, fucking great. <laughs> and then they just pan to the back and you see the. Of, of the flash. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The, be the best Jimmy part knows is shots. Is hey, 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 hey. He knows the shots, the blocking, yes. everything. I know that alley. I've been blown in it. Yeah. <laughs> Look out for the sissy bounce. Look out for the sissy bounce. <laughs> exactly. I parked my vehicle in exactly the same spot. <laughs> Both got blown. Come here, big friend. <laughs> yeah. Katie Red. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the uh, the death scenes in that show. Every one of them meant something. They right. really and and every one of them you're like oh god was that well done sopranos yeah. too the sopranos had some great yeah. i, th I yeah. thought when uh sharipa got killed with the in the by in the trains oh yeah when uh, oh yeah, that yeah was that a was a fantastic uh, when, scene. when uh uh, Dre got killed. Andrea, what was her name? Oh, oh yeah. fuck yeah, the, the girl in the woods. The yeah, in the woods. crawling away. Yeah. Oh man, as they just walk past camera, he's pulling out the gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't show it on. They didn't show it on the screen though. No, yeah. exactly. There, there was, was a lot of stuff. It wasn't was brilliant. Yeah. 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 Prop yeah. Joe, they didn't show his murder on the screen either. Nope. They, uh, what did they show? They show uh, Marlo's face when he's getting. Was they pulled mm -hmm. away? Prop Joe just, you know, yeah. it was a really creepy scene. Just told him breathe. Breathe, yeah, Joe. breathe. Oh, breathe. Jesus. And then that sociopath face doesn't change. <laughs> it doesn't change. And that's the nicest guy. That's the thing. We had, had him to give on. it up to Listen, Jamie, yeah, the we actors, had him on. the actors on the wire. We got to see them last night, man. They was they were such great actors again because they're the total opposite of who they are. Yeah. Michael K. Williams, who played Omar, he couldn't be a nicer guy. And, <laughs> and, and Jamie Hector, lunatic. man, is just such a sweetheart, man. But sometimes when you're talking to him, Jamie says, How you doing, Wendell? You okay, man? And the next thing you know, you shit like, yourself. Yeah. I'm wondering, where does that shit go? Bro? Why are you so nice to me, Jamie? Yeah, what did I do, man? I owe you money? <laughs> I, there's got to be one prick on the whole cast that we just haven't met yet. Because everyone we've met has been, been nice. Great, yeah. um, we had him, we had, uh, I don't know how to say his name, Benge? Benga. Benga, yeah, yeah. He was one of the nicest guys. Yeah. All of them have been nice. There's got to be, uh, we haven't had uh, Dominic West on. He's probably well, the that's We'll the get him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's we'll on him. now. You found him. Uh, Dominic, I hope you're listening to this. Yeah, he's a real dick. Yeah. <laughs> you guys just sold me on the new show, by the yeah, way. Yeah, of course. I would see that. Just the music angle yeah, alone, yeah. Yeah. i got to check it and, out. And, and listen, the DVD of the cool. first season just came out, so oh, it's one of those shows where you can just pop it in. We'll try to get that to you. Roland, get me a copy immediately. Roll it. Roland gets, gets me the yeah the shows. Yeah, oh, that's, that's fantastic. Cool. I'm man. ready for and stuff. You guys are very well, we really I'll, I'll come back again after you've seen it because I'll, it will I will absolutely know. see it. Yeah, but if you're a music fan, man, you're gonna love it. You're gonna. Yeah, love I like it. to think actually, I am. You know, uh, it's across the board. So much good music. Mm -hmm. HBO sticks with a show when they know it's got something. That's which I, I kind of like about them as opposed to ones that are ratings driven. Like I, I mean, it might do great numbers. I don't know, but they don't seem to constant think seem to concentrate on the integrity of the show a lot more, which is nice. Because even though The Wire didn't get, uh, it got critical acclaim, but it didn't get awards, they just stuck with it, I think, because they knew it was, well, the, yeah, this although is, it was underpromoted. This is, this is what I'm saying about, uh, about intelligent television, you know, because people, they, they like thinking, you know, and I live in London. This show in London, The Wire in London, blew it, the whole island, out hmm. the water. Oh, really? They love it? You, oh, you man, can't yes, go... Oh, it was just insane. And you think, well, well, this is America. No, this is really the Western world. Hmm. All of these systems are breaking on down. Look what's happened with the education here in the States and also in England at this point in time. You know, so, so smart TV is what we want.
You know, we, we, we don't want to be anesthetized all the time. Sometimes we like to be... <laughs> we like to be in these tasks. <laughs> well, for the moment, like we want to be really smart and have this say, "Come on, us." You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, it's, so, it's, so it's, it's it's really nice to be part of a team or be part of a, 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 a on that side where we we are a service where art is actually mm -hmm. serving the public as it's supposed to do, not just a commodity on the fucking shelf right. that you take mm -hmm. off and you and you look at and you eat and you throw it away. Mm -hmm. Well, they, no, they like when it wraps up neatly at the end, and that's that's what this show didn't always do. And uh, you know, I'll say because these guys are probably too smart and nice to say it, but how it stinks. I'm sorry, that fucking <laughs> gimp solving the fucking <laughs> health issues, winning awards makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah. What show is that? House. The oh, fact yeah, that yeah. that wins dramatic awards, <laughs> fucking beat it. Quirky fucking guy with a limp. Fuck you. <laughs> beat it, stupid. Oh, right, it drives Jimmy? me nuts <laughs> that that <laughs> shit is considered great. <laughs> Ugh, fucking Entertainment Weekly people. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. Pe well, people, you know, the, the mainstream are just going to be attracted to the mindless fucking potato chip television. If that, well, and, uh, I, I think it's because they don't know, they haven't had a choice. No, I think it's because yeah. the majority of people are stupid. Really like I mean, you know, I've been, I've traveled around for a while. America, I did good. not say been that. around a few. <laughs> I did not say that, America. Oh, I think you're all yeah. very, very <laughs> smart and full of potential. <laughs> so watch Treme and the Wire. I, 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 I never forget, man. You ever been with a woman and it's like, you know, that jaywalking shit, you know? And they put a picture up of, you know, Winston Churchill, you know, and you with this fine woman. She goes, who the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, like, like, what? You really don't know who that is? <laughs> God, <laughs> damn, I'm going to have to take these handcuffs off you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just lost it. Oh, no, man, that's the reaction yeah. I want. I don't want a chick who knows Churchill if I'm just going to fuck her. Cause you, I don't want a chick, <laughs> you want a chick that looks like Churchill? <laughs> 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 I don't need a fucking brainiac. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. When your dick is out and your Churchill comes up, how's that exactly? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you want her to fucking pull her head up and start, start quoting him? <laughs> uh, God damn it. To date someone, though, I, I agree. If you're going to date or you know you want to fall in love, you probably want somebody yeah. really smart. Yeah, a little bit of compelling conversation. But it's nice every girl so often. in the alley in the back of the oh, car. Right, yeah. right. That's <laughs> to see an alleged girl. <laughs> an alleged girl, exactly. Look, a lot of women are six four with very thin calves. <laughs> we were just commenting. And deep voices. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. How you doing? He's heard that before. I made the error. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, what are you gonna, gonna do? do? No, you go. Hey, I'm, yeah. I'm all in right yeah. now. I'm all in. You know, I'll just there pretend. I went yeah. to customer service. They pulled a box cutter on me. <laughs> yeah. You know. yeah, they all carry razors with dipped in garlic, apparently. <laughs> uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy's very educated. Yeah, well, on that I really very am. Educated, he knows man. the world. Uh, well, our oh, show is great. ending. Um, yes, what time is yes, it? It is. Uh, we, we end at ten o'clock. Wow, enough. we actually went ten minutes late today. We never do. We're that. We never do that unless <laughs> we have a good guest. <laughs> um, so the show cold. is. Uh, could we would just so. literally sit here and just talk about the wire I, for like hours? That's all I, I would do is just talk about the wire. And you know, well now we got to start talking about this new show. We got to talk about Tremé. Tremé, man. Tremé is on HBO Sunday nights at ten o'clock. Season two premieres this Sunday. It premieres this Sunday. And yes. it's, uh, it's about, it's, it takes place in 2005. It's three months after Katrina. And uh, yeah, it's obviously, no, this is the second season, months. 14 months. So yeah, yeah. it's a oh, year later. Oh, season but, one started. Yeah. Okay. But you know, HBO is running right now like a marathon of Treme, uh, the first season. So you'll be able to. Is it on demand? Soon. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. I, I, watched watched it. I love the other man. Boom. I watch yeah. it when I want to watch it. I might have to do yeah. a marathon. Get right. yeah. marathon. It's the get best way up. to do it. Yep. And then once you get caught up, you, like Jimmy said, you're pissed off. You're like, fuck, that was the last one. You get excited. Yeah. 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 Next week. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> you get excited yeah. when you got 10 still, you know? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. counting down. Like, ah, oh, shit. I have <laughs> trouble getting into a new series, though. I literally, I went through like a post-wire I, I'm like I can't commit to anybody. Boardwalk Empire was pretty good. I kind of got into that and I enjoyed that, you know, because you know uh, Michael Williams is in it. So I was like, all right, yeah. I'll, and uh, and this I'll watch now. But I can't get into uh, another series. It's very hard. Yeah, yeah I'm not well, interested. We're gonna give it a shot with this one. That's for sure. Good, this man. I'll watch. Well, let's thank Clark Peters and Wendell Pierce, man. Yeah, thanks guys. Thank you. Yeah, we love you guys, man. We really do. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll yeah, have man. you back after we've seen a bunch of these. Yeah, I definitely. feel bad we haven't seen it. No, that's all right. That means you're gonna check it out. There's yeah, two type. There's two type of wire fans like that too. People who know every shot, like Jimmy, uh -huh. you know, and other people who go, 
I've never seen a minute of it. <laughs> what happens is the wire then lives on and on and on and on and on in do box you, sets. Just a last question. Mm -hmm. Do you guys notice that you get, like, because I, I did something with uh, 